What's that around the microphone? That red thing. The neck itch. I think it's this spray I got. What? Is my neck red? This is a hell of an introduction. I know, right? But no, my neck is really itching. I shower, guys. I know y'all think I stink. <laughs> top of the morning to you. Well, first of all, top of the morning to you. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. We're catching on with the lingo, right? Who says like that? You! A neck itch. It's because I sprayed Stop this scratching, fool. It's because I sprayed this Dolce & Gabbana light blue because I'm fancy. Mm. But I think my skin can't handle it. Okay, that's, that's, how, that's how I know you're not built for that lavish life. <laughs> Hold on now. I mean, <laughs> little duties. Justin, welcome back from NOLA. Thank you. New Orleans. I don't know if you're allowed to disclose why you were out there. Starch We Feast has a new show called Food Grails. Yep, I plugged um, it in the last episode. Yeah, Very we're good. exploring different regional foods from around the country. And so our fourth episode is going to take place in New Orleans. I won't give you too much, but it's about how two iconic sandwiches in New Orleans are sort of coming together in this like culinary mashup. There's only two episodes out so far. Two episodes out so far, yeah. And you just mentioned the fourth episode. The third, okay, the trailer for our third episode of Food Grails comes out tomorrow, and that's on DC's regional condiment, mumbo sauce. What is mumbo sauce? So there's not one strict definition. It changes depending on what part of DC you're in. Some places it's sweeter, some places it's more savory, some places it's a darker red, some places it's more orange. It runs the gamut. We're going to the source, you know? We're going to the people who know and love it best. That's what Food Grails is all about. All right, welcome back to another segment of editors utilizing their time. Not wasting it, spending it very productively. Definitely not wasting time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the editors now sit in a row together. It's really easy for us to get caught up when a funny still or something turns up. So there was one still of Speedy looking really serious and angry, and we took it in a few different directions. So this is, um, Speedy's not tall enough to ride the ride. He's looking a little disappointed about that. I can't really explain this one. It's a combination of various elements. I think overall it's a pretty strong look for him. This is actually an old picture. I think we made this a few years ago. Kind of like a throwback, a little throwback. Christmas card. Christmas is canceled. <laughs> Looks very serious, very disappointed. So there was one other funny outtake. This one was of Justin. He was trying to say a word and he couldn't quite get there yep. and he was frustrated. And so I took some creative liberties with it. If you want to be a creative comfortable, yeah. Okay. Ready to go for it. And that concludes another segment <laughs> of editors utilizing their time. Utilizing. Most definitely not wasting. Thank you, Tony. And let's just uh, look at this for a few more seconds. Yeah. Speedy, I need your thoughts on this though. You look like a flame here. <laughs> you look like a loser. This what about the real? other picture? Forget my picture. Is this you? This is real? That's Photoshop. Give yourself an L for this. I think he looks happy. He looks like a. He looks happy, but he looks very like. Very. You look like a customer service rep or like a fast food employee that's like super happy to be at work. All I'm gonna say is haters will say it's not photoshopped. I mean it's not. This looks like it's a real photo. Hmm. Huh? What's the other one? What we got here? This is me. This is like, I was like resting face and they screenshot it and threw me on Carlton from uh, or Alfonso Riviera, however you say his name. But look, imagine my skin tone. The guns is out though. You know what I mean, I've been working. I've been working. They're my fluffy. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> those are my fluffy sneakers. Meg, like, it's time for lunch. Yes. Lunchtime. Yeah. yeah. Lunchtime. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Zoe. Lunchtime. Go get some lunch. It's on me.
right, so Beja is shooting a new story in there. I wonder if I can just walk in there and do her script. And whoa. Yo, can I do your script for you? See my eye twitching? Do my sc script for me? Yeah. You wanna write it? Yeah, no, I mean, let me... You'll see. What's Gucci, guys? It's Tony for Complex. When Kendrick Lamar's damn album released back in April 14th, everyone was talking about K-Dot's execution lyrically and how crazy the visuals were to accommodate the humble and DNA tracks. Top dog entertainment, Pete. <laughs> All right, that's it. <laughs> I don't do new scripts. Forget that. Were you about to Millie Rock? What the hell was that? <laughs> that is it. I mean, that's what I'm oh. uh, just asking him if he was gonna put the little graphics package. Beja, am I allowed to do any more complex news videos? Nah. <laughs> nah. Sorry, man. I read the comment section, and clearly, you guys always ask for Beja. Velez. Here I am. Beja M. Velez. In the flesh. I don't want to hear any more nonsense from you guys. Not this this entire vlog is featuring Beja. So Beja, I need Me. you to do us a favor. Mm -hmm. Close out the vlog with a piece of life advice. What motivates you every damn day? Okay. Today I tweeted. What the hell did I tweet? Something about um if you wake up and have breath in your lungs to just be grateful um that is a very i don't know cliche saying or whatever but when i was in high school i had this british literature teacher miss branca and we had a journal where we had to write three things every day that we were grateful for and then people started running out of ideas because they're like what else can i write like i'm i'm grateful for whatever whatever and then they just stopped and then it just put things into perspective for me uh just being able to eat or just being able to wake up and see your family or just the simple fact of having i don't know clean water just the smallest things or things that are so minute i grew up in a middle class family but i went to hood high school so being immersed in that and seeing the people around you and having nothing and just like this survival mode that also motivates me to just get out of that environment to show people that just because you grew up somewhere doesn't mean that you have to implement that lifestyle you can remove yourself from it learn learn from it have that strength to push you to do be uh, better and bigger things so um yeah very good that was <laughs> quite a spiel it's quite a story wasn't thank it? you guys for watching and i will see you tomorrow deuces Yo!